Hey everyone, Amanda here coming to you with another fragrance review and by the title you can probably already tell that this has been declared the most popular fragrance of all time. Well, I guess not all time, but of the year anyway. And um, it has a good place on my shelf too. I will admit that I do like it. I'm kind of on the verge of being obsessed with it because I have worn it a lot lately. Um, so I might have to do a review of Amanda's Top 5 for the month of April or so far to date or something because this will be definitely in the collection of that because, like I said, I have been liking it a lot uh, just because with the other ones of uh, Victoria's Secret, this one I really like. It's close to the one that I can no longer get from, from them as well. So, but going on as you can all see that I am doing a review on Victoria's Secret bombshell now my little sample here came in in a gift set of their collection so this is just a small little quarter fluid ounce and um, but as you can see that it is half empty in my world shame <laughs> but I do like it um, and I do like the fact that Victoria's Secret does spend a lot of time trying to replicating their bigger bottles in their smaller versions. So in Bombshell you can see that in the original bottle or larger bottle um, that does have the pinstriping there still is a black atomizer and unfortunately mine is in my purse. It's a pink cap too. So but it does have a nice spray um, as you can see for being a small little guy it shoots out big time. So um, Oh, it smells nice in here already. Um, but to go on, I mean, there's not much to say for notes, really, is that there's only three of them. There's orchid, there's peony, and there's passion fruit. So by the lovely sniff in the air, you definitely do get the the peony smell, the, the peony accord in it. So, I mean, if you're not a big fan of, you know, floral smells or like a combination of fruity floral... And I might not say this isn't would be one for you, but I do. I I'm becoming obsessed with with the fruity floral smells. So, but with Victoria's Secret, this um, one has been created in 2010. So, uh, actually, the fall of 2010. So this is a very new fragrance. Um, so, once this came out, everybody's been favoring it a lot, and that's probably why they have it as their bestseller at the moment right now. But um, what they what they're trying to get with bombshell is that it's supposed to grab the attention and of, of the attitude of women. So so if this is like one of them strong kind of women that want to you know set forth a you know hey I'm here look at me I'm attractive I'm sexy that kind of look so. Um, and this is the, definitely the smell for that. Now, some people on on Fragrantica and Base Notes, I mean, there is a lot of love. There's a lot of likes for this one. But also, there's a, a few negatives. Um, a lot of them um, think that it smells like all the other fragrances that uh, Victoria's Secret has. Uh, some people believe that it's... You know, not not what they were expecting it to be by the name of the title. But I mean, who hasn't gone through all that before? Even with you know other women fragrances or even men's fragrances as well. But I actually personally, like I said, love it to pieces. Um, but it does come off with that hair conditioner, shampoo kind of smell. And to be honest. I don't mind that because it kind of gives you that nice, clean, fresh feeling that if you just, you know, got out of the shower, you put this on, you got that nice, clean, um, nice, clean feeling to you. So, and that's because of the peony. I mean, most of them, I mean, passion fruit is definitely um, a, a popular choice when it comes to like shampoos and that sort of thing or lotions or anything like that. So... That's definitely where you get that clean, fresh feeling. Um, so I do see this being used in the spring, also in the summer, just because of the floral smell to it. Um, but in the fall, I have worn it too a lot as well, and I can see, you know, on a cooler kind of feeling, it's, um, 
it, it kind of gives you that nice longevity of it too. So, and that's kind of a, another thing to talk about. Now, to me, on certain days, the longevity does last a very long time. It does have that great expansion of time. But other days, uh, I don't get quite as long. I do probably get maybe four to six hours with it. Other days, I can get like six hours plus. So, it's it's just a juggle, just depending on what you use as as a sidekick, I guess you could say, with it. If you're using lotion or if you're using you know, oils or something as well. But other than that, um, it does have a nice mild intensity. So, I mean, it does have a great projection. So, you, you kind of have a little, a little cloud entourage right next to you. So you have where people can smell it, so that projection is nice. Um, I've worn it a few times at work, and a few of the guys were, were sitting that they're like, ooh, you smell nice, what do you have on? And I tell them I got, and then they go on a rant, well, my girlfriend's got this Victoria's Secret smell and this and they're like, I really like that. So, um, unfortunately, I don't have Dan here, um, but he has smelled this a few times, and he's a little iffy-iffy on it. Uh, it. Some days he likes it, some days he doesn't. So, um, But he's like, he's not really into all the floral, fruity smells. Um, he does like more, more tropical fruit smells than this one doesn't quite cut it so much but it is what it is so it's still on my shelf regardless <laughs> so um, but other than that I mean I can see this being used at any time of the day um, you know even at night too if you really want to feel kind of that sexy I want attention feel to it so you know you can wear the black stilettos and the black dress and still feel sexy in this because you are bombshell then. Um, but other than that, uh, I would say, you know, I can, I can say for ages wise that, you know, I'm 26, I wear it. So I don't see why anyone else wouldn't wear it. My mom loves putting this on. My daughter, who's only four, loves to put it on. So there's a lot of ranges in between. So anybody anybody can wear this and pull it off too. So, but other than that, <laughs> I keep saying, um, you know, I would recommend this if you are into the fruity floral smells. If you're not, probably stay away. If you don't like, you know, the air conditioner smell of the passion fruit kind of thing, um, or you know, if you're just not into Victoria's Secret at all, but uh, I would say that I would recommend that you could try it. You know, definitely have it in your collection. Maybe start off with a small sample bottle, you know, just to give it all a try. Um, don't put so much, uh, you know, money into, you know, something if you're not into it. Uh, this is kind of a pricey little guy. Um, just for a smaller version of it, starts at... Um, about $45 and then it kind of goes up to I want to say 55 75 or so um, you probably can find it on eBay for cheaper or Amazon or whatever or even some other fragrance sites as well uh, but you know it's a good good collection starter if you want to say I mean I'm glad that I've got it because I am obsessed with this uh, and I would probably buy a bigger bottle of it because I do wear this one a lot. So, but that's all I have to say about Victoria's Secret. Sorry, guys, if you're wondering, I don't own anything from there except for the perfume. <laughs> so, but other than that, you guys, take care. We will see you soon. All right, bye.